Scientists estimate that there are approximately 8. 7 million animal species currently living on our planet. But what is even more intriguing is the fact that there are still 7.5 million species yet to be discovered. This vast number provides us with endless opportunities for exploration and further understanding of the natural world. In the realm of martial arts, Kung Fu has a rich history that originated in ancient China as Shaolin Kung Fu. Within this art, there is a well-thought-out system of learning outcomes that can improve various aspects of the body. One of the most fascinating components of this system is the five animals of Kung Fu, which breaks down the art into techniques based on five animals, the dragon, the tiger, the snake, the leopard, and the crane. Even for those who do not have intentions of practicing the five animal styles of Kung Fu, learning about their symbolism and the incorporation of each animal's traits into an effective fighting strategy can be truly captivating. Movie enthusiasts who have watched the DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda movies may even recognize some of these styles. The dragon style of Kung Fu, although rare, is a very cool and flexible technique. It incorporates the characteristics of speed, agility, cunningness, and spontaneity. The dragon allows the practitioner to move in the opposite manner to their opponent, utilizing relaxed and swaying movements to evade attacks and counter-strike. This style emphasizes striking any body part that can be grabbed and held, with signature moves such as the dragon tail and dragon claw attacks. The Tiger style of Kung Fu utilizes power, speed, intelligence, and a commanding attitude. This style focuses on strengthening the bones and initiating attacks with brute force, overwhelming the opponent with a barrage of strikes. It aims to destroy the opponent's defense with an unrelenting barrage of blows, mimicking the wild tiger's efforts to tear out flesh or deliver a single deadly strike. The Snake style, associated with slyness and deception, focuses on intimidating the opponent, wearing them down, and targeting vital areas with direct and accurate attacks. This style not only develops explosiveness but also emphasizes breathing methods to boost internal power before striking. The Leopard style relies on stealth, speed, and clever hunting skills. Techniques associated with this style aim to inflict pain and weaken the opponent, targeting softer regions of the body. Precision, power, and speed are crucial elements in developing this style. The Crane style, more defense-oriented, emphasizes gracefulness, evasiveness, balance, and quick footwork. It aims to knock off the opponent's balance while maintaining distance and focusing on attacking vital points. The crane's beak technique is used for deflecting attacks with precision. In conclusion, the five animals of Kung Fu, including the dragon, tiger, snake, leopard, and crane, offer practitioners a fascinating insight into the incorporation of animal traits and symbolism into an effective fighting strategy. By exploring these styles, individuals can not only improve their physical abilities but also gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity and capabilities of the animal kingdom.